<laughs> Don't strain yourself working too hard first thing in the morning there, Stripe. Great girl. Hey, honey. Good morning. The only message I have from the Tesla app is that Ruby completed charging at 1.24 a.m. with the battery at 233 miles. No FSD this morning? No, still no. Oh, yeah, I saw David had put on Twitter last night. Uh, of course, I looked at it this morning. So no FSD for him either. Yeah, all <laughs> our friends, we keep on commiserating with each other that we really want it and don't have it. And uh, where the heck is it? And uh, it's, you know, it'll kind of drive you nuts after five, six, seven days of thinking it's coming and you not got it yet. If I wasn't fast today, I'd tell you get the garlic shrimp out. That's what I would do. <laughs> That's right, garlic shrimp. <laughs> I hear Ruby and all her proximity alerts <laughs> coming out of the garage. Uh, it's supposed to be near 80 today. Can you believe that? We really don't need to go from too cold to too hot, but that's what happens in the spring. Come back and grab those water bowls in a minute. We got all these little maple seed wings down everywhere right now. Well, Mr. Man... You didn't make me have to get you back on top of the platform this morning. Thank you. <laughs> you just stayed up there. Tom brings my purse back in the house for me because uh, that way when I walk back to the car. Yeah. You just did that to be fancy. I did. <laughs> I knew you would like to see it. Good morning, Panther. Hey, bud. Oh, I thought I unlocked it already. Usually I'm a little smoother than that. Oh, these mornings feel so early. I've had a coffee, cup of coffee now, though. I inhale it so the caffeine kicks in and I can function. Hi. It's uh, kind of foggy out here this morning. Not enough to really impair visibility in any way, but uh, definitely noticeable. Ruby says it's 55 out here, so that cloud cover overnight really held the temperatures up. Like I said, we're going to be 79, 80 degrees today. It will be a marked warm-up improvement. So, I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but Ruby says we're going to be late. 7.36? Wow! That's like 10 minutes later than yesterday. I don't know how that happened. And it says 37 minutes to downtown. That's, you know, 20 miles. We've gone a mile now. So I believe that's accurate. It's typically a 40 minute drive. 35 minutes to be about the absolute fastest and optimal conditions. So, yeah, heading out of Fuquay. Just went under the train overpass, um, train bridge engage in autopilot. I don't have it on coming through town because I don't like how she handles that additional lane right before the intersection with uh, Judd Parkway and Main Street. She stays left and everybody goes right and then I can't get right. She just doesn't handle that the way I want her to so usually I just wait till we get out here to 401 and the speed limit here is 55 and it's just uh, really smooth out here using autopilot, using the FSD beta. So I'm going to say a few extra things today because it occurred to me that I haven't talked about some things in quite some time. And if we ever have, you know, new people um, join us that they might not understand a few of the things going on. But um, we got Ruby in June of 2017 right before Johnny going to, started going to school in downtown Raleigh at the start of the seventh grade for him. And um, he's enrolled in an early college, which is a public school, but we had to apply for it with an essay and some paperwork and some questions and such. And um, what we get out of that is there is a large dump truck type vehicle next to me. Um, but what we got out of that was a uh, really small class size and the ability to earn college credits on a college campus is junior and senior year. So at this point, some of you will remember from the early videos, us being um, 
us being on uh, a different campus, which was the middle school and ninth and 10th grade campus, the old uh, historic school building in downtown. And then now we're over on St. Augustine's University for his senior year. So we'll be off the road in the fall. Um, that's going to be really bittersweet. You know, obviously some days I'm really frustrated with traffic and ready to not be out here with some of these people, especially early in the morning. But another, uh, many other ways I'm going to really miss the sunrise and time with Johnny and things to photograph and a daily drive to go someplace at least through the week. And, you know, like I said, it's going to be bittersweet. So I go into and out of downtown Raleigh twice a day on school days to drop Johnny off and pick him up. Um, and that puts, you know, about 100 miles a day on Ruby. Um, if we stop anywhere at all or do anything, it, it I play Pokemon Go, whatever, it ends up being around 100 miles still. So I'll probably put the Tesla Fi charts today at the end of the video. I haven't shown them in a while. The FRX bus just came through this light out of the Wake Tech parking lot. So it did stop at Wake Tech on the way down to Fuquay. They added a bus stop in there this past year when they opened up the stoplight and the access road because there's a real place for the bus to turn around and a real little, you know, place to wait and get on and off the bus. So that's good. But it'll go over to South Park by where we live and pick up a few people and then head back this way. And I assume, hopefully, stop at Wake Tech on the way back into town also. Giving people in Fuquay the opportunity to go to the school without having to drive to it. We are uh, nine miles from the house at this point. Turnpike construction here is still coming. I'm going to be done with the daily commute downtown before they're done with the turnpike here. But I would say as far as um, inconveniences go, this really hasn't been too bad. Wow, Ruby's going to be over 115,000 miles today. Time sure flies when you're driving. Remember 2022 June? <laughs> leading up to her five-year anniversary and all of the driving Don and I did to try to make sure she hit five years and a hundred thousand miles basically on her birthday for fun. Uh. Now if we would just get the FSD 11 update so I could start bringing you some new content on the uh, on how the beta has improved on this route that I've taken every day for basically forever. Even though I don't use it the entire distance into and out of downtown, I might, if V11 is that good, get Ron to drive with me and get him to do it while I'm filming. I know a lot of us are really past ready for it. Ruby is, Ruby is driving right now. Yeah, Ruby is driving right now. Coming up to a red light. Pesky red lights. And good morning. 7.18 a.m. must be uh, sunrise. It varies every day with the official sunrise and sunset times when she comes on to full blind mode. I, I like it bright, so it's all good. These Yoshino cherry trees here at the cemetery and a few dogwoods mixed in too are really pretty. I keep on meaning to film it when it's sunny out or stop in for a few minutes or something and it just hadn't happened this week. It's gorgeous. Well, we are missing a few buildings in the skyline this morning. Yeah, I didn't realize today was going to be so yucky. 
I suppose there's still time for improvement. Michelle and I won't care because it's Thursday and you know what that means. That means it's Guardian Angel Thrift Store Shopping Day. I'm always so excited. Seriously, when she tells me everything is good to go for Thursday shopping, I'm just like jump for joy every week. Even after as many times as we've been. tried to get around the bus which I never do and then I couldn't get back over before I turned so we're coming into the school on Oakwood slightly different from how we usually do but this is good because I've been wanting to show um, they put in a um, circle up here around about a, a block in the middle of the road to slow people down well first off they've come in and they've put all of these speed humps bumps over here um, I do get why the people in Historic Oakwood, which is a very community, um, whole residential center, don't want people flying through here. I just wish people could, you know, possibly go the speed limit without needing to have to deal with all these extra speed homes. There's, you know, Ruby often tries to tell me to come this way and between the stop signs and now these newly added speed humps, there's just no way. But here's the little slow down circle thing. They put one here, Donnie, and they put one at the other end too. When you go out the other way, you also have to deal with one of these now. I'm not a fan, really, even though I don't usually speed and I'm, you know, slow and safe, miss safety. I, I'm not a fan of, of those four slow down things. Anyway, here's the school on the left. Okay, I guess they want me to go, which I can do. Well, you stopped and then she was on her phone. Okay. I don't just pull out. I signal. I actually turn my head over my shoulder and look. I use the backup camera. I'm still driving around the quad, which is what they call this circle here, with my mirrors pointed down. So on that narrow stretch coming in, I can tell exactly where my wheels are. See, I've switched to drive through. See, I've switched to drive through. I hate that they have moved the profile name off of the main screen and the three and the Y. Thank God in the X, it's still where it always was, at least in my X, probably the landscape screens. It's not, but in the portrait screens it is. I swear I wanna get out and move that pennant flag. <laughs> That's fine right now while there's nobody else on the little path, but to move it. Now there's a pla place I would love to use my drone, St. Agnes. Go in there and fly through the open windows. I have, I'm on the Facebook group for when they open it up for photographers, but I haven't seen them do that lately. Maybe they just haven't resumed since COVID. What I was going to say is the city of Raleigh put in one of those little circle thingies slow down traffic slow down circles um at one point in town and the first time a bus tried to come through uh i'm not sure if they hit the utility pole or they couldn't they had a backup and couldn't go through because of a utility pole they didn't measure they didn't realize where they put it that um it was too wide that buses wouldn't be able to get through that the utility pole was in the way so they had to tear it up and then i guess they were making it a little smaller and putting it back in so yeah, measure first, cut once, measure well, don't have to tear up the road and redo it a second time. Poor guys, could have happened to anybody. I mean, seriously, but it's like, if we weren't putting them in in the first place, we wouldn't have the problem. A nice guy that works here that's in that black truck he um, does not like cold, so he's not out here too much in the mornings during the winter. But he says sometimes when he passes the security cameras, he you know sees me, and he can see all of them. So he makes sure you know there's nobody coming around back or anything that's not good. 
Not that I've ever been worried. This whole parking lot is full of security I told cameras. you guys, next year they're going to tear down the whole building and rebuild it, right? It's going to be a two-story building so they can fit more activities. And apparently there's a project plan to put sidewalks in all up and down this road here, which is Tarboro Road. So people can get from, I guess, Cookout and this teen center and other construction stuff. Um... You know, there are going to do some improvements, but it's next year, so I won't be over here, which is good because I would really miss my pull-in safety spot. There's no way to use the restroom over here in the morning, but in the afternoon there is. Oh, just stretching a bit, just stretching a bit. Yeah, this is the historic high school building, just a few blocks from the college. And a little closer to downtown. The National Weather Service issued a dense fog advisory, which I read here at the stoplight. Basically says things will improve by noon. I note that weather bug for today says uh, bright and sunny. So I, I guess they expect this to uh, burn off at some point and clear up this afternoon. So if we see sun this afternoon, uh, we won't be surprised, but uh, it sure looks pretty cloudy right now. I was reading that Starbucks has launched some drinks in Italy that have um, olive oil in with the coffee and that um, they're going to launch that here in a few select cities I think Chicago New York Los Angeles something like that and um, I don't know that was interesting I think um, the keto community has backed off of you need fat bombs to be successful on keto um, Basically, that would have been doing things like adding MCT oil or coconut oil to your coffee or, um, you know, just basically taking in eating, you know, huge amounts of, of fat. Not to say that they've gone back on low carb, high fat. Uh, they haven't, but just not adding them to your coffee just for this, you know, eat it with your as a normal course of eating your meat and not put it in your coffee or something so but Starbucks isn't doing it for keto reasons they were actually doing it for taste reasons and I don't know I mean I'd be willing to try it one time except for one of the drinks has oat milk in it or something and I would you know if you want to add a little olive oil with my heavy cream for me to try I suppose I mean I've tried butter before I really, really, really like the LMNT. I think adding a small amount of salt to your coffee really takes away the bitter. And um, the chocolate mint is my favorite flavor. And I am not saying that's a health thing. <laughs> I'm just saying I really like it. And um, my blood sugar can tolerate it. So um, I ordered me an extra box of the chocolate mix because it goes away at the end of the month until the fall. And they surveyed people and asked, you know, did we like that flavor? What do we want them to do? You know, what other flavors? Like, we need pumpkin spice by September. <laughs> I need, I need pumpkin spice. This alternative keeps me from slipping up at Starbucks. I just went to the software tab and Ruby again, yet again, she told me I am up to date. One of my friends yesterday says, do you remember the song, I Want My MT MTV? Well, sing it to I Want My FSD. <laughs> Thought that was great. I guess it's in my head this morning. Thanks. Uh, something happened. Oh no, an accident between a car and a motorcycle. That is not good. I'm home. Just took a look up at the sky. See if I saw any hawks or anything else interesting. The answer was no. Everything looks so nice and green though. Just wish we were going to have a little sun. Whoops. For our walk not going to happen today. Hi, Strawberry.
stripey. I guess the squirrels are chewing off some of the um, branches on the maple tree. There's quite a few of these down on the ground out here, falling into the other trees around and such. All the maple trees look like they came through the um, cold just fine. All of Don's hard work covering things up. Everything is looking good. Hi, Tux. We'll leave the sticks in the ground for a few more days and then come back and remove them. Did you hop down? Hi, bud. Oh, big stretch. Don's coming out. We're headed for a walk. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off the walk we go. Don's got his hand weights on today because he didn't feel like he needed gloves. So we noticed they seem to be taking some of the dirt from the church parking lot and moving it down here to where the guys live that have all of the trucks. We wondered what they were doing with all that dirt in the church parking lot. You see the big mound of dirt there on the right? I mean, that is a big mound of dirt. And Tom was like, what are they going to be doing with all that dirt over there at the church? Because it seemed like they brought it in versus scooped it out, but we're not sure. Anyway, those guys got dump trucks that live on that property. And it seems like we've seen them hauling dirt from the church property to their property to fit, do fill in. So anyway, moving dirt. That's what they're doing. They're moving dirt. You want to tell them what you're really thinking about those weights, the hand weights? They make a difference. I mean, that extra six pounds. Four. Oh, I'm Are, sorry. I'm, yeah. I apologize. See, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm tipsy. <laughs> um, the extra four pounds makes a difference, especially when you kind of hold your hands up like this. When you're actually moving your arms. And um, I told Marianne if she would want me to try a start of these weights. This summer, I'd have told her, no way. This is a good time of year because I'm actually breaking a sweat. Now, I probably got maybe a little bit too much cold, but I'm telling you, I'm getting plenty of exercise right now. Hey guys, I think they're gonna have their nest over in this direction. Do me a favor though, and use the potty over there on the walkway. And there is some, there is some undesirable stuff over here where they just were. I don't know why they prefer to do that on the... Yeah, I know. We're slow today. Thank you. We keep on doing this and that. Um, anyway. <laughs> it's nice that they have our own little secluded pond home over there, but just, you know, use the bathroom not on the trail would be good. So you might remember last week that Michelle's van went in the shop and they said they couldn't get a part until May. She asked me if after Guardian Angel if I could drop her off at home and I said sure, we'll just end shopping just a little early. Uh, Devin, her oldest, is going to drop her off and then go on to work with his car. Um, he shares with his mom, but not if he's got to be at work, obviously. Said uh, Michelle says they're going van shopping this weekend. This hill's killing me today. <sighs> One foot in front of the other and never give up. One foot in front of the other. Oh, there were some flowers started to be added. I'm sure the rain, the purple flowers down on the bottom, I'm sure the rain hurt progress yesterday and today's weather's not helping much either. I'm seriously joking but me and the owner of this truck we need to have a talk. Maybe he could park on this side and I can park on that side. <laughs> He's in my spot. Google Maps says so. There she is. Devin let her out and Devin took off. <laughs> but he got her where she needed to be. He so pushed me out of the car. He did not. <laughs> he might have if we'd have given him a chance though. Uh, yep. <laughs> Just kidding, Devin. Oh, it's a homemade kitty. Kitty. Not. Kitty? Not. <laughs> That's 
different. The lettering says relax. I think at our houses, there's always hope. Mom will let us have carbs tomorrow. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Today is a good day to have a good day. This is some beautiful Homer Laughlin stuff. Very vintage, very collectible. We found a Marty cat little garden flag. Black kitty pin. I don't see a black kitty. Black kitty pin right there on top. Black kitty. It's oh. so cute. They have quite a few 2023 20, calendars and there's still plenty of months in the year. Yeah. It's amazing how long and how much fun we can have just looking at all of the school supplies. <laughs> Um, no, Donnie, your weights are not allowed to end up over here. They really do have everything here. This is a dog life vest. Oh, it's a mermaid, but it's a puppy. And she's going to put a crystal ball on this table. Very cool. Yeah, Madame Leota from Haunted Mansion. I got her. Oh, okay. Doesn't this mean they're supposed to do more, not less? That's what I, that was my impression. Not something I have to worry about with Don because he does great. It's so super cute, but it's too big even too big for a night shirt. For Ariel, I don't know what it's doing over here in the plus size women's aisle, but it's a medium in it and she loves it. It's too big or I'd be getting it for Dawn for the next time we go up to Mount Airy. This is a very popular shirt at Guardian Angel. Michelle and I have each bought one here and just in case you need yours so you can fit in with us, they've got one waiting on you. See, they put out all the good uh, new t-shirts for spring. Count your blossoms, life is good. Uh, I may be having trouble with the cart now. <laughs> Are these Carrell? I think they must be. No, they're Arcoc. Arcoc, they're, that's a French brand. Ooh. It's not the first time I've mistaken them, but. Nope, uh, Arcopal, Arcopal. I like the pattern, thought it was Carrell. I don't usually make that mistake. It says chaos coordinator fueled by caffeine. <laughs> oh, that's super cute. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's caffeine. It's a whole entire pig collection. I mean, seriously, literally it's, it's, yes, I actually had one of these once. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, here's from Charlotte's Web, Wilbur. Here's and Wilbur. One. Yeah, yes, it is. Yes, it's heavy. It's real. I apologize in advance, but you might need one of these. <gasps> They're beautiful. They I are. Like, I like them both. I, know. I didn't even open the frunk, um, but there is a bag there in the middle row seat. I think that's down far enough. Won't hit the glass. See, we got stuff here too, but I didn't know it shut. I didn't have to open the frunk though, so that's good. It's been too long. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, so hit the three little dots. Where are the three little the dots? The three little dots. Oh, there we are. Okay. Yep. And say add a stop. Add a stop. Up at the oh, top. Oh my god. I'm sorry. That was embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing. Well, I probably don't want to put in your home address anyway. So, <laughs> so now put in your address. Okay. Say what, Michelle? <laughs> Computer? I had the boy told <laughs> Scotty he couldn't understand why he couldn't talk to the computer. <laughs> that was one of the best. Well, that's like my favorite Star Trek movie, but that was like one of the best. I love Scotty. Scotty, just amazing. He's like, oh. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. It's calculating the route. And. So we're going to get to your house at 139 and I'm, it says I'm going to be downtown at 206. Oh, wow. So now I'm just trying convenient. not to show Michelle's address, but yeah. Um, yeah, right there. Here's her address. <laughs> <laughs> Work, Oakwood, right here. Um, 205. So it's closer from your house is what it's trying to oh, say. Okay. We're get we're sort of going toward the school as we so we're good. We're so, I'm, in, so I'm not too much. We're in great it. shape. Shoot, I even have time to pee if I need to at your house. <laughs> yes, you do. Yelling at other drivers. Yeah, she just beeped at herself because she's driving. I think she went over the line a little bit. She's they've Jules has done that to Dawn. So I don't know that Michelle's been in the car with me, at least not for this far f since uh, Ruby got full soft driving sorted out. So Michelle's used to me driving on autopilot as we've been all over the place. We used to, pre-COVID, we you would spend the whole day together and 
lunch and shop and then you know kids and COVID got in the way but hopefully we'll circle back around to that but I was just gonna tell her that she's gonna handle the stoplight up here I'm not gonna have to do anything so you'll get to check that out okay. that was her realizing she's speeding now she's seen the stop sign she's slowing She sees the green and she's going. So I, ha I still, we're still required to keep our hand on the wheel and to move it around just enough so she knows we're paying attention. But um, if we're lucky, she'll take you all the way to your driveway. She'll probably just end at your driveway because you live on a major street. So there's, n you're not in like a par parking lot. She doesn't go through parking lots yet, really. She'll get you like in, maybe get you into the parking lot, but for your house, she ought to she ought to turn into your neighborhood and everything. Put on the turn signal by herself and do all of that. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Anyway, this truck came in the other way, and she got claustrophobic and kind of slammed on the brake too hard. You gonna do the turn now? Well, that's a little better. All right, there's nobody behind me. It's all yours, girl. Turn her. This is too cool. <laughs> there too you cool. go. It's like a ghost. <laughs> My mother, the car. Well, she messed that turn off of 42 into the neighborhood, but that was just, you know, if no one had been behind me, I would have let her complete the turn. Man. Well, I was a sneak peek into Michelle's garage. She has this, the, what's he from, the gorilla? Uh, he's just a regular, he's from Spirit Halloween. Right, um, but I mean, like, Probably in the old Lost in Space or in like amusement parks or something, yeah, they had him. And you see the head hanging from the string and this to, 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 to demark the center in Camp Crystal Lake on the wall. And no time for a full tour today, though. Yeah. Next Halloween. Yeah. Halloween. Oh, definitely. Well, Ruby wants me to take 40 and I'm going to take 50. I'm going to go up this way, even if it costs me a few minutes and stay out of that construction zone. She still hasn't figured out my arrival time, but honestly, um, it can't be much different than the other route. And as you can see, there was no reason not to come this way. Nice open road, speed limit here is 50, which is kind of odd, but it is, it's 50 here. She still hasn't told me, hasn't rerouted me all the way 50 into downtown. Oh, I haven't been over here to see this, but you know what this is? Oops. This is the Turnpike crossing Highway 50. Yeah, so she finally rerouted me and she says it's going to take me five minutes longer. That's her estimate, but I'm, I'm more than five minutes calmer <laughs> coming this way, so it's all good. I get over to the school at 225. It's a pretty day to sit out on the bench with friends. Dang it, I followed the directions and she still 10 miles, seven miles up the road made me get on I-40. Ah, did not want to get on I-40 in the construction zone. I don't care how much more efficient she thinks this is. Well, they've gotten rid of some of the cement barricades since the last time I was over there, but this is not the final asphalt. It's got lots of uneven ridges in it, and there was a lot of dust back there. There's Amazon, the big Amazon Garner warehouse. I didn't realize you could see it from the interstate. They must have gotten rid of a bunch of those um, trees over there. I see this exit 303 is not open. At least you can't get off in the direction I'm traveling. I wonder how Amazon is dealing with that. So there's not going to be an on and off here on Fanny Brown, but um, wow, there is an overpass. <laughs> friend asked us to try using FSD to drive through an intersection that had um, fl a flashing stop sign, like multiple stop signs and lots of flashing going on, and see what FSD did, and to be prepared to brake. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna do that test. So we've we've slightly deviated our route home from downtown, but um, not by too much. This is my old stomping grounds over here, kind of in Willow Spring. I thought they had flashers on them. They do. They do, but it's not big honking flashers. It's, I guess though, when the car in front of you is doing its thing, does she see this as a stop sign? My foot is over the brake. And she does. All right, what are you gonna do, Ruby? Well, she came to a stop. That is not as big of a flash as I remembered. But it was, but there was flashing on the end. And the stop sign was way over to the side. She handled that intersection correctly from this direction. It's really all I can say. Dang, Main Street Fuquay here is like a freaking parking lot. I realize our side is moving, but the other side is all backed up. This is why some days when I try to leave town in the afternoon, I have trouble because it looks just like that. I peeked inside but wanted to show you guys. Uh, the sticker says opening this package will cause extreme happiness warning and um, it's a bunch of bricks on brick from BrickLink. Different sellers wrap them in different methods and um, this person takes a little extra care with their wrapping. Um, no, I am not going to build the tagger, um, but I am going to build an alternate build. So stay tuned for what that ends up being. Just Don and I on our bench enjoying some afternoon rays. Mm -hmm. Stripey's just over the hill there in the woods in Texas by Ruby and not too happy. Although I gave him first dibs to come follow me and he stalled out and then Stripe came over, so. If we're not careful, we'll be napping here on the bench any minute. Mm -hmm. I um, did the border up here and I am missing some of the flat black tiles. Um, this whole thing they wanted smooth. I'd like to at least do one, two, three, four, five of them. I don't care if part of the roof maybe has the studs showing, but it needs to be even. <laughs> uh, I'm missing one part down here. It's this brown half circle macaroni and I want to swap these two green parts here for a tan, which I've ordered. I just fixed the top of the windows. I just, I have fixed this under border that was missing some stuff. I decided I like the flat tile and the bell tower instead of stud showing. Um, seems like there was one other thing. Oh yeah, this was wrong color was here. It was dark tan. I switched it to brown. So uh, it's short six, seven, eight bricks that need to be swapped out. Uh, the one in here is a pain, but all the rest of them are trivial. Um, so it's pretty much done unless I decide to do another floor, which I really think I am. And what that means is that, you know, between here and the roof or between, yeah, there would be another, there would be another floor. Um, I'll have to think about how that would look if I decide to do that, but it's perfectly good <laughs> as is, um, until I would decide to get around to that. So there you have it. This maple tree out at the street looks uh, healthy enough. The dogwood tree here has got some blooms on it. And this woodsy azalea here does appear to have some flowers getting ready to open. That would be nice. I've had Johnny to Taekwondo and um, I'm back home and probably going to send Don to pick him up. I was telling Don that this dogwood in the front yard these two here were uh, getting ready to bloom I guess it's actually three and dogwoods in North Carolina some of them are definitely not in great shape anymore we're having trouble with the ones in our yard too it is the state uh, flower though tree flower 
dot flower, dogwood flower. 